You know, Fluffy, it is an extremely, extremely nice day today. Fluffy, break, heel. Fluffy, load up. Now the temperature today is gonna be extremely nice with a high of 75 degrees in Kentucky. I'm really thinking that we go out to the woods and build some confidence and do some amazing training out in the forest. But first, we forgot to introduce ourselves. My name is Daniel the Big O. I'm out here with the Fluffy Poodle. That's right, Mr. Fluffy Bear and his bluish greenest. Sometimes it turns purple hair. Fluffy, we made it to the forest. Let's go ahead and get the leash on and head inside those woods. So how does going in the woods, letting your dog play around and explore, build confidence in your dog? See, the Fluffy Poodle and I, we follow a guy named Stoney Dennis. Stoney Dennis, he trains dogs here in Kentucky and is very famous. Mr. Dennis loves when the owner and the dog goes out and accomplishes little tasks to build confidence. These little tasks may be simple for us, but for dogs, they may be a little bit more complicated because they're not used to it. Fluffy, you ready to show them what we're talking about? I'm gonna take this ball. I'm gonna throw it up this big incline and I want you to figure out a way through all those thorn bushes up that big giant hill to get this soy. Fluffy, yes! He's gotta figure out where it's at. Good boy! Come on, Fluffy! Come here! Out. Good boy, Fluffy! Good boy, good boy! Here, come on! Up, up! Good boy, up, up! Good! Even getting your dog up on a log that's balanced like this you know, might be intimidating to some. Stand, good, break, good boy, place. Place, good boy. You see, and there's a thorn bush right there, but it's all right. Break, yes, and give him his reward at the end. Lovey, come here, come check this out. Sit. All right, so we are walking through the woods here and I looked down and you wouldn't believe what I saw. Check this out right here. Leave it. This is an old uh, turtle shell. You smell it, buddy? Leave it. Good, leave it. See, and this is how you can also do training for a teach your dog. You know, you may be able to find stuff, but sometimes we're just gonna, you know, make sure he leaves it alone because you don't want him eating stuff that he's not supposed to. So let's set this back down in the woods and uh, keep going. Come on, Fluffy. It looks like you're a little thirsty with your mouth opening like that and it being so hot in the winter time. Good thing there's a creek right here. Now, Fluffy, I want you to build some confidence and I want you to go ahead and go all the way down that steep embankment over the creek and to me. You guys ready? Here we go. Fluffy, come! Good boy! After he got his drink, I was thinking like, why don't we have a little fun and build some more confidence and let him run around in a creek that he's not all the way familiar with. I honestly think the deepest part in this section is only about like that much, about six inches. Fluffy, you want it? Yes, go get it, boy. He's a little slow, he's a little slow. That is cave water, so it may be a little cold. Good boy, Fluffy, yes! Yes! 
you guys see he's gonna start going faster and faster when he starts building that confidence in this creek. Let's keep, let's keep it going, let's keep it going. Yeah! You see he's starting to go faster and faster. Come on, boy. As a good boy, have fun, act a fool. Do whatever to keep your dog interested and entertained. As a good boy, good boy, Fluffy, yes! Now look at him go. I mean, I'm telling you what, he may not be the fastest poodle in the water, but he's going a lot better than what we first started because we're building that confidence, what we're all talking about here and learning from, you know, a really great trainer that we follow on the internet named Stony Dennis. I see a stage over here, so let's just do some basic obedience over at this stage and have a little bit of fun while we're still here in these woods in the bluegrass state of Kentucky. A toy. That's it. That's all we're going to be using. Watch this. Here we go. Fluffy, touch. Good break. Good touch. Good break. Good place. Good. Yes. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Now that is his major reward is getting that toy. Fluffy, out. Good sit. Good down. Sit. Good. Uh -uh. Sit. Good. Stand. Stay. Heel. Good. Middle. Yes. Come here, boy. Good. Heel. Good. Middle. Heel. Six. Good. Watch my back. Watch my back. Watch my. Uh uh. Six. Yeah, good. Watch my back. Watch my back. Watch my back. Leave it. See, it's over there, and he won't go until I tell him the three-letter word, Y-E-S. And it's make sure I can say yes right now, and you see I just said yes, and he's not going to go. Fluffy, yes! Until I say his name, and then the, uh, the command or task, whatever you want to say. Pick up! Come on, boy! Good out, good sit, good hug, good off, good six, heel, circle, circle, down, stay, down. Now a lot of you guys are like, can you do all that without a hand signal? Absolutely, I can. I believe in doing both hand signals and verbal commands because sometimes we're at sporting events, church, or so on, or places that are really loud, and they can't hear you all the way. So they need to be able to know what to do in all those scenarios. So again, we'll do everything with, uh, with only verbal commands real quick and then hand signals so you guys can see. Let's go. Fluffy, sit. Good, down, good, heel. Good boy, middle. Good, circle, eh, eh. circle, circle, down, stand, six, heel, hug, off, touch. Place. Off. Yes! <laughs> Out. Oh, I forgot the... Fluffy, under. Good. Yes. There's a lot of basic obedience with verbal commands. Now let's go ahead and do it with only hand signals. Everything that we just did with only hand signals. You ready? Let's go, Fluffy.
See, coming out here to places like this and building that confidence and doing the basic obedience will really help your dog understand what to do wherever you may ask of them. Hmm. I got this idea. In the army, we had to jump, we had to go over and under, over and under, and over and under stuff kind of like this. Why don't we have Fluffy do the same thing to build his confidence and get him some good exercise? Under. Good. Up, up. Good. Under. Uh -uh. Under. Good. Up, up. Good. Up, up. Good. Under. Good. Up, up. Good. Under. Uh -uh. Up, up. Good. Under. I mean, that seemed really easy for the fluffy poodle. Let's see if he can do it all on his own, extremely fast, going all the way down without my help. Come on, boy. He totally missed everything. You were supposed to jump over and go under, jump over and go under. He said no, he went the easy route. See, sometimes you have to do baby steps, okay? I may have been asking too much of a long distance for something he didn't know what to do. So we're only gonna do one, two, three, and get them to this, and then we'll do four, and then five, and then six. And then that's how you do all dog training when it comes to sit, come, absolutely all of that. Sometimes you have to build on baby steps and then and increase the increments over time. Fluffy, come on, boy. Good, good, yes, yes, yes. Good, out, good boy. You see, he did it perfectly right there. So let's go ahead and move down another one and keep it going. The last time it was three, one, two, three. Now we're at four. Now we're at four. Fluffy. Come on, boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Well, we should skip five and let's do all of them. Let's do all of them. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, boy. Come on. Good, 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 good. Yes. 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 Yes, a good boy. Yes, a good boy. I hope you're understanding that sometimes you have to have baby steps when you're doing dog training because, you know, the communication between human and dog is sometimes difficult. But with doing things like this, the communication will be so much easier. I mean, Fluffy, you really just had to find the perfect tree for a great pitcher, didn't you, dog? Just a handsome boy. Break! Come on, dog. Let's go. <laughs> he said, Daddy, let me get a pitcher. Let me get a pitcher. <laughs> Come on, boy. Come on. This big old hill right here, it sucks. But the good thing is we've been working out lately, so it's not as bad as what it could be. There's always a positive to everything. Always a positive to everything. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys had an amazing time on this episode. I know myself and Mr. Fluffy Poodle sure did. That's right, Mr. Fluffy Bear in his bluish green and sometimes it turns purple hair. I hope you guys learned something from the Fluffy Poodle and I today during this video. Make sure you guys get out and have fun with your dog. And no matter what you're going through or your disability, you can still follow your dreams. And until next time, you guys know who this is. This is Daniel the Big O with the Fluffy Poodle. That's right, Mr. Fluffy Bear and his bluish green. Sometimes it turns purple hair. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye. Fluffy, touch it right there. Come on, touch. Fluffy, come on, touch.